Hello, we are B300 Financial Advisors. We have three potential investment options for Manuel Rodriguez, and this is our team. My name is Omar Allen. I'm Jack Shia. My name is Dylan Wells. My name is Ryan Shearheart. My name is Sajay Adams. And my name is Kelsey Alback. And the first investment option we'll be starting with is Walmart. So this is the table of contents for the presentation, and now we're gonna start with Walmart. So general information on Walmart Corporation, it is one of the largest retail consumer products in the, the world, and as well as total assets increasing from $199 billion in 2017 from to $205 billion in 2018. Uh, total liabilities have also increased from $118 billion in 2017 to $124 billion in 2018. And total stockholders' equity remained the same at $80 billion throughout the two years. In addition, the stock traded at a high of $109.98 as well as a low of $81.78. The stock's beta was also 0.26, and we will rely on that information later on in the presentation. So the second investment option for Manuel Rodriguez is J.P. Morgan Chase & Co. So J.P. Morgan Chase & Co. is a multinational investment bank and financial services company headquartered in New York City. They are the sixth largest bank in terms of total assets. And during 2017, they've seen significant growth in their assets, increasing from 2.49 trillion to 2.53 trillion. They also pay a dividend of $2.24. And over the course of the year, the stock traded at a high of $119.33 and a low of $97.57. And lastly, this stock um, has a beta of 1.14. Alliance Data Systems is the third company we'll be looking at. It is a top global leader in providing data-driven marketing and loyalty solutions. It's listed on the S&P 500 and it is a Fortune 500 company. Both its total assets and total equity increased from 25 million to 30 million in the past year. And it is trading at a high of $278 and a low of $192. And its beta number is 1.14. So this chart basically just details the stock prices for the three companies. So with the highest price is Alliance Data Systems Incorporation. The second is J.P. Morgan Chase & Co. And then Walmart is the cheapest out of the three sellers. Now we're comparing the betas of the three companies. As you can tell, Walmart has the lowest beta by far at 0.26 of the beta, while the other two companies have a beta of 1.14. This shows that Walmart Corporation would have a beta of 0.26, which represents low market volatility, which means if there was a change in stock prices throughout the market, it would be a lot less um, affected than the other two. And that's, that falls into play as a better fit for conservative portfolio. Um, and now we will go into the recommendation. With that being said, the company that we recommend is Walmart. It has shown strong growth in assets. It increased by 5.69 million from 2017 to 2018. It had a beta of 0 .6, 2 0.6, which indicates that the stock will be unaffected by short-term market fluctuations. In addition to that, it is implementing blockchain technology to increase efficient efficiency in operations. Thank you today, Mr. Rodriguez, for your time. Um, as you know, we are B300 Financial Advisors. My name is Kelsey Allback, and I'm the primary contact. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please contact us at b300team at gmail.com. Thank you.